Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I am on my way to Lidl. If you've never heard of Lidl, it is a European grocery store um, which actually originated in Germany in the early 1970s. And it is a store that is kind of like Aldi. Um, if you're familiar with Aldi, Aldi is a grocery store that is very low cost. Um, all of the food and products there are not um, name brand, they're like off brands, like the Aldi brand. Um, and so um, the way they are able to keep their prices so low is that they cut costs in other areas where they don't feel it is necessary to um, have spend the money. So for instance, shopping carts. You have to put a quarter in to unchain the carts to get your own cart, and then when you put the cart back, you got your quarter back. And then um, bagging. You can purchase paper bags. I think you can also purchase plastic bags. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've been to Aldi. Um, but anyway, you bag your own groceries, so that cuts down on that time, um, so they don't have to pay um, you know, so many employees to do so many different tasks. And another thing is, they do not restock shelves um, item by item. They actually just restock a box at a time. So whenever the box is out or running low, a clerk will come and just restock the entire box. And you can actually take boxes, um, empty boxes, to haul all of your groceries. So it's kind of like you pay for your groceries and then you gotta box them. But it is so cheap, you guys. It's so much cheaper than like, shopping at you know the mainstream grocery stores or even Walmart um, the reason I haven't shopped there in a while is because I used to shop there all the time before I was pregnant um, I'm the one who taught my husband about Aldi and um, first he's like oh this is cheap food and I've heard a few people say oh this is cheap food actually Aldi is a part of Trader Joe's so it is not cheap food you guys this food is actually better for you more fresh it comes from local farms this is like the food that is better less processed organic they have a gluten-free section they do have name brand items there um, it's just not a mainstream store well now I think it's become so popular so Lidl has come to the United States I'm so excited I hadn't heard of Lidl until this year when they opened their first store, we actually got one a few months back and I've been dying to go, so I'm so excited I get to go today. So, seeing as how I've never been to a Lidl, I did some research online and the store looks gorgeous, you guys. Um, I've heard it's very comparable to Aldi. It's just even cooler because they actually have a fresh bakery. So I'm excited. I looked at the circular for this week and I'm telling you some of the prices that I saw. Oh my gosh, like some of the fresh vegetables, it was like 50 cents for a bundle of something and then like 90 cents for something else. They have cauliflower burgers, veggie burgers. They even have vegan non-dairy ice cream that I just really want to try. Um, there's so much. I already looked at the circular, so, and that is through Wednesday. Those prices are good through Wednesday, so I am hightailing it over there. I actually have my bags in the back. I have one of my 31 utility totes, which holds a lot. If you've ever seen, um, if you were familiar with 31 bags, you know what I'm talking about. They're those huge, like, big bags that you see moms and families toting around to soccer games, to the park, to the zoo, to the pool, because they fit a ton. I cannot find our monogrammed one with our last name on it, so I have another one that I have. Um, so I only have one bag, but hopefully that will hold the majority of the things that I'm gonna get. And I mean, I'm going like all out on a like, grocery haul today because I'm in desperate need of a ton of groceries. Um, so if I end up needing more carry space, I will probably hopefully find an empty box. If it's like Aldi, get an empty box and um, use that to carry the remainder of my groceries. Oh, and did you notice? I'm child free! Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Um, I left the kids at home. They're well cared for. I made sure everyone had fresh diapers and dinner because of course it's later in the evening, so that's the only time I can really get things done. I'm telling you, I'm so busy during the day. My kids keep me busy between activities and you know mom's groups bible study play dates ball ballet like my head spins so 
the only time like I could grocery shop some some mornings but it's just more doable more practical either on the evenings or on the weekends um, but on the weekends we tend to all be out together and I don't really want to take away from our weekend plans to go grocery shopping you know so I am going the evening but I feel like this is less people out because everyone's at home they've just gotten home from work and they're having dinner and um, so yeah hopefully it won't be too busy okay so in the next town over really which is Sanford um, this is where I got my minivan y'all at Sanford Toyota um, so Sanford is just another like main town here in the Fayetteville Fort Bragg area it's really like probably 20 minutes from Fort Bragg um, so it's it's not too far from my house probably about 15 minutes down the road um, I think it's taken me about like yeah 15 minutes to get here so Lidl is just up there ahead just be on the line all right we are here at Lidl this place looks huge. It looks even bigger um, and better than Aldi. I'm so excited. It doesn't look like too many people are here right now, which I love, which means I can pretty much have a front parking, front row parking, but uh, I can also just kind of breeze through the grocery store. Yay! So you know what guys I just realized I forgot my grocery list at home. Oh um that's okay I guess I can just kind of improvise and try to remember what I had I'm pretty sure I've got a good memory um with that lighting I've got a good memory of what I want and what I need to get so um okay so it doesn't look like you have to put a quarter on the cards like you do at Aldi I think it's like a grab and go system um which is nice because I don't have to worry about remembering a quarter of it. This is awesome, you guys. Pretty cool. because everything I need is right here. Well, not everything, but a lot of what I need is right here. Like potatoes, sweet potatoes, butternut squash, onions. Ooh, and there's acorn squash, and I think that is yellow squash. And spaghetti squash, yeah. I'm going to get a pumpkin because I want to make some pumpkin bread um, for my PWC Bible study since it's our week to bring food. So I think I'm going to grab one of these. I am so excited they have mangoes here. Like, I never find mangoes anywhere at any store ever in papaya and it's a great price for papaya too. This place is freaking awesome. These organic bananas um, are only 49 cents a pound. Um, as you can see they're clearly about to clear out of those organic bananas. Um, those must have been really really popular. Um, another cool thing I thought was neat is this like bulk nuts. You can buy your nuts in bulk and you can just get them fresh, sweep them out. I love it, and you can like save time and wait them there and print them so they don't have to wait them. How cool is this, you guys? This is about to be my new favorite grocery yes, store. Yes, yes. Butter lettuce is the best if you do lettuce wraps. So if you like, let's say, um, like P.F. Chang's has the um, like ground chicken lettuce wraps or like shrimp wraps, or instead of using bread, basically you can just wrap your um, protein in lettuce so it's healthier. And this is honestly the best lettuce to have lettuce wraps with. I'm so happy. You know how hard it is to come by lettuce wraps? Oh my gosh, I've already got like a ton of goods so far. I I think this <laughs> truly is going to be my new favorite place. And I think we're going to pick up some more grapes because we all love grapes. Paisley especially. Um, just going to a really, really fresh pocket down here. bakery here as you saw when we first walked in and they actually do cakes. Aldi does not have a bakery or do cakes. Um, so they have let's see like cheesecake, I mean birthday cakes, 
I'm pretty sure you could probably put it in an order. I don't know, don't quote me on that, but I think that's so cool. If you're going somewhere like a party, you can always grab a cake. I'm like having too much fun here. I'm like a kid in a candy store. I do not know where to go first. I keep zigzagging all over the store. I love the selection here. Everything is like the best of the best. So I'm telling you already, the legal experience is like outstanding, blowing me away. This is my ultimate favorite place to get groceries. Look at this price for baby carrots. Score. That honey wheat bread. I mean, I don't really eat bread anymore. I mean, I do sometimes. Oh, I love how they have the gluten-free options along with everything else. Um, it's more so for the hubs and uh, Morgan sometimes. Um, she'll make peanut butter sandwiches for school. But every now and then I might want a slice of toast. Ooh, and they have the Hawaiian bread too because I'm gonna get some cauliflower burgers and veggie burgers. And um, yeah, probably gonna be really, really tasty. Look at the price of these ribs, you guys. $7.99 per pound. You cannot beat that. And then they have some already ready-made um, really great options for dinner so if you don't feel like cooking it's already marinated um, I actually think I might grab some of these chicken breast um, grilled strips because they're already ready and these are great for like my lunch because sometimes I just do not have time to make anything see you Dunkin Donuts coffee they have everything you need so you don't definitely don't need to worry about it not being like a mainstream store like Harris Teeter or Kroger or Safeway or Giant or Walmart or Target, wherever you live, they definitely have everything in them. So, like Aldi, I always remember it used to be limited, but here it is definitely not limited. They have a lot. Okay, I'm not a huge beef eater. I mean, I, it's not that I don't eat it, I just, I don't usually, like unless we're going out and like I get a burger or beef stew. Um, every once in a blue, 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 like once a year I'll probably have a steak. Um, so I'm gonna bypass this and I'll probably just go straight to the ground chicken or ground turkey and probably get some fish too. Um, so I'm backtracking a little bit just because I'm like all over the place in the store. There's just I just grabbed some almond butter, some crunchy almond butter, and I grabbed a ton of stuff. <laughs> like this is my cart so far and then I have stuff at the bottom too. That organic whole milk down there is like $2.69 um, and we give Paisley the Horizon Organic with DHA and it's like five bucks. Um, so super excited about these prices. Who wouldn't love this? Um, God, I don't even know where, where to go next. Actually, we're out of, no, we're not. We don't need goldfish. Um, however, I saw on um, one of my favorite YouTubers, Erin um, Williams, she, in a very, very old vlog, she had, I think it was like rice cakes with almond butter on it when she was doing a shred. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get the unsalted organic. Um, I remember in the video she had caramel because she already had it, but we're gonna do the unsalted. Um, so hopefully it'll be like a good snack for me. Lots of healthy choices. I love that. Like there's just, I feel like this grocery store is probably healthier than most grocery stores. And here's what I was talking about, how you can just grab um, a box if you don't have a bag to carry out your groceries. Um, ooh, little goldfish. Yeah, there's like a lot of super duper healthy choices. Like this is great for anyone that has gluten allergies. If you have celiac, definitely come here because they have a ton of gluten free and a ton of organic here. And actually, I think I may grab some. This is just rocks my world, this crepe maker. Any of you that are my friends that know me know I love making crepes, especially fruit crepes for breakfast and they actually have a crepe maker so I can actually spread the batter out because I just use a regular pan. Oh my God, this is life changing. This store is seriously life changing. I'm just in awe. I'm probably not gonna get everything that I came for today because I have already filled my cart and the bottom of my cart 
and I don't even have room for <laughs> everything else to be perfectly honest so I'm definitely gonna have to come back probably later in the week and get more I had seen in the circular online these are California veggie patties um, there's four of these and they are $2.29 Keep a frozen bag of boneless, skinless chicken broth because sometimes I run out, sometimes I don't want to have time to go to grocery store, and so that's just a good option to have on hand in case, like, I have nothing in my fridge and freezer, which has happened too many times more than I would care to mention. Right, Twinkie Bay, the desserts here are so incredible, they're on point. Here's carrot cake, they have triple chocolate cream cake cheesecake chocolate cake chocolate cake vanilla cake um yeah there's just oh my gosh this is this is awesomeness i know i said that a million times but i honestly i'm so pleased with this experience and this store it is huge this by far surpasses out they have spanakopita and it's like 3.99 man Ooh, oreo churros okay I'm not getting any of this. I actually was looking for the cauliflower burgers and I did not see those. So I'm gonna keep looking. I've been doing like circles, um, just kind of really looking at everything, but it doesn't look like they have any right now unless, I mean, they should be over here with the veggie burgers, but I don't see any. So um, at least I have the veggie burgers. So I'm just gonna roll with that. I probably should just get some regular burgers for the hubs and Morgan. Um, just to have on hand in the freezer because I know they'll appreciate that. Um, man, this looks oh, turkey burgers, yes. Like I said, um, we mostly like always buy turkey meat. I mean, I will have beef like when I go out for dinner sometimes and get a burger. I will eat a regular beef burger, um, but I really love turkey burgers and I really love bison burgers. Um, so that reminds me of Ted's Montana Grill. Yum. All right, like clearly <laughs> there's not a whole lot of room, so I may just have to bring this shopping trip to a close, but I wanted to get a couple of things because like I said, I need to make some food for Wednesday morning for our Bible study. It's our group's turn, so I, you know, the baker in me was like, I'll make this. I signed up to like bring pumpkin bread. I offered to make banana bread since I have a ton of ripening bananas. I said I would probably bring some baked apples and a breakfast casserole. Um, so I'll probably be baking a lot tomorrow night and Wednesday morning. A couple of these lean cuisines because that's like sometimes a guilty pleasure. And although they're not the best for you, I still really, really love mac and cheese. So this is gonna be good when I just want a little bit of some pasta. It's perfectly portioned. And per usual, I get super, super busy with the kids. So sometimes I do not even have time to cook myself a decent meal like during the day so that's why I feel like meal prep for me is just the best option to make sure that I eat healthy. We're in the beer section. Ooh, beers of fall, Sam Adams. Yes, I'm so excited. I really don't have room for beer today um, or wine. I will have to come, oh my gosh, Angry Orchard. That's like my favorite fall beer. Um, yeah, I really don't have time. Um, I don't really drink during the week anymore. <laughs> I used to be like a huge wine. I would always have like wine every single night. Um, but since I've been on my weight loss program, I have cut it down. So like I had a glass the other night, but I mean, I really, it's like once in a while I'll have a glass, but these are some great options. Like if you're having a gathering, a party, which I think I'm gonna be throwing Morgan an 18th birthday, a Halloween theme. So we'll be planning that. So I'll definitely be coming here. Um, yes, for sure. Uh, the laundry detergent here. We usually use Purex. I mean, well, not usually. We go back and forth between Tide Free and Clear, Tide Free and Gentle, to Purex, to, you know, whatever's the best price, whatever's on sale, whatever we have a coupon for, um, Shopping Smart. So I will definitely be coming here for some, um, Ooh, like there's also some um, Swiffer wet mop refills that are for like $4.99. They're not like the actual Swiffer brand, but you know, you know, it's good enough. Ooh, and baby food. They have a whole baby section, which I actually need some more pouches. Oh my gosh. So this is like the baby snacks, baby cereal, um, 
formula, baby food. This is awesome, and I love how they have the organic option. They have a really good selection of diapers. Um, I used to use Pampers when Paisley was born. Pampers was my diaper of choice, and then I switched over to the Honest Company. My kids have just really sensitive skin, really dry skin. Um, there's nothing wrong with Pampers. Actually, we do need. I do still use Pampers, the baby dry for nighttime diapers. I was using Honest Company nighttime diapers, but I always they were always out of them whenever I needed them. Um, so now I can just grab these because they're convenient. Um, and even at Target, sometimes they're out of them. But this is definitely really good pricing on some of this baby stuff on everything. So if you have a little new, you definitely check it out. Okay, you guys, this is about all. <laughs> Like I can do today like this is so full I mean I have to bag all of this myself I don't know if my one bag is gonna hold that definitely not so I'm gonna have to grab like a box for sure they do sell bags at the register so I might have to grab a couple of bags they sell reusable bags and paper bags so I'm gonna grab a couple of reusable bags and let's head to the checkout Okay, and I just finished bagging everything. I actually did pretty good. I bagged all of this. So I actually ended up buying four paper bags and then I have my 31 bag and then there's just a couple of loose items here. But all in all, I did pretty good. I bagged all this in five minutes um, and it's pretty easy. And all of that stuff just cost me $180. At any other grocery store, that would have been like easily $300 even 400 actually I probably would have spent $400 if this were like Harris Teeter or Food Lion but $180 people that is it it's dark outside right now I actually really enjoyed grocery shopping at night because there is nobody really here and it was just easy I don't want to say in and out because it wasn't in and out um, I definitely spent some time in there looking at everything and Oh, this is like the greatest shopping experience ever. You have those little cart stalls. You can put carts back so you don't have to worry about like Aldi. You have to take it back to the front and chain it up to get your quarterback. But here you do not. They actually have um, attendants grabbing carts from the outside, but you can actually leave them in those shopping carts. Okay, I actually did not have to utilize my trunk. I just put a couple things, the very fragile items in the front seat, put a bag at the front. I put the pineapple and acorn squash in Paisley's car seat and then just everything else back here. So that's Whew. it. I feel like I just did a marathon shopping haul. Legit, like just going through the store, <sighs> grabbing everything. I'm actually hot. I have the air blasting in the front because I'm <laughs> that hot. And then I have it blowing in the back because I have things that need to stay cold. So I need to hurry up and get home so the frozen items don't completely thaw out. Um, but it was funny, I was checking out and the cash uh, register, the attendant, <laughs> um, she saw me filming and she's like, are you a vlogger? Because I got these looks from some people that were like, kind of looked confused, like what is she doing? Is she talking to herself? Is she on the phone? Like what is she doing? Um, even some of the workers. So it was nice that, you know, she didn't look at me like I was crazy and she asked if I was a vlogger and I said yes and so we talked about, um, my channel and the things that I vlog the things that I think people like to see the things that she likes so um, I kind of learned a little bit more about audience um, but that was so funny everyone's so friendly super helpful this was honestly the best shopping experience ever like they have a ton a ton of like great healthy options I mean this is even better I was even more pleased going to Lidl than Harris Teeter and even I don't want to say even Trader Joe's because I love my Trader Joe's, but I mean, this is, this is blows Aldi out of the water. Like Aldi is nothing compared to this. Lidl is so great. This is like just, oh God, the gates of heaven open is like, oh man, that's how I felt when I walked in. So, oh my gosh. So now I've got to get these groceries home. It's eight, it's eight twelve. So actually I did, I didn't do too bad. I think when I got here, it was like maybe a few minutes after seven so um i was only in here for an hour so not too shabby but anyway we're gonna head home and gosh get ready to put all these groceries away i just made it back home um here's the tiramisu cake and here's my list that i left here at home my handy dandy list the tiramisu cake i bought 
because Will loves tiramisu and um, eggs. And looks like they ordered pizza while I was gone. Hmm. Um, but yeah, this is it. This is everything. And so we didn't do too bad. Everything is full. So like I said, good deal. All is less chaotic in the kitchen. I've put everything away. The countertops are clear for the most part. I'm just going to give Avery some late dinner because she took a late nap today. Um, so the fridge is well stocked again. The freezer is definitely well stocked in our pantry is also pretty stocked um, with you know the good stuff so that is everything so as that I mentioned I before the Lidl experience was completely completely amazing I love that place I cannot wait to go back I probably will go back at least once a week I'm always at the market getting fresh um, produce and fruits and stuff like that so um, oh no <laughs> Um, so I will link it down below. Definitely check out Lidl.com and see if there's a Lidl in your area. Um, but definitely there is one in Sanford. If you live in the Fort Bragg, Fayetteville area, definitely go check it out when you get a chance. Thank you for watching this. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.